Hey everyone, today I want to go over the lighting that I use for working on and maintaining my vehicles. Now some of these lights are specifically designed for automotive applications. Some of them are designed to be used in various different fields, but I find these work very well for my needs here in the garage and around the house. Now obviously, I'm on the Milwaukee platform. I have been for a while, and it just made sense to pick up some Milwaukee lights. I already have a sufficient amount of their batteries and chargers. So most of these lights are available tool only to save some money so you don't have to keep buying more batteries and chargers if you don't need them. Now, all these lights I have to say are very well built. They're all uh, Milwaukee TrueView, which basically means they're color neutral. So if you're working in an environment where you need to see exact colors without them being distorted by different light temperatures, these lights are perfect for that. So they have three different main lines. They have their USB rechargeable, their M18, and M12 lines. So we'll start off with the USB. This is gonna be the smallest of their lights. These lights are good for, if you're looking for something, a small light, something that fits into your pocket very easily, really lightweight, really compact, working in uh, tight areas where you may not have enough room to put a larger light. These things are perfect for that. They have uh, various other lights like this. They have different Rover lights, whether it's something you can hold in your hand that's a good floodlight or something that you can leave on a surface, something you can mount perhaps to a magnetic surface if need be, things with clips on them. Perfect for something like that. They also have various handheld spotlights. If you need to look deep into an engine bay, a spotlight is perfect for that. And this also works really well outside. You have battery gauges on it, let you know the approximate state of charge. They also have a rechargeable headlight. Uh, there are so many good and specific applications I find for these. The headlight is great when I'm working in a spot that's really confined and I need to use both my hands and I'm unable to hold a flashlight. Uh, it's perfect for that. It really doesn't wobble around at all when it's on your head. Same thing with the, uh, the rover lights. If I'm in a really compact spot and I need to just put a light somewhere small, like in an engine bay, uh, they're really, really perfect for that since they're so compact. The downside to the USB line, there's two main downsides. The first one is going to be the runtime. Most people, myself included, you're going to end up running these lights usually on high most of the time. You're usually going to drain the battery down in less than an hour. So because of that, they don't have the best runtime. They are bright, but you kind of pay a penalty for that with these smaller batteries. The main other issue is these do not have the battery interchangeability like the M12 and M18 lines. The batteries do come out, but they're not designed to be quickly replaced and replenished. And they can only be charged in the tool itself. So you can't just put them on a separate charger and come back to them later. So that's kind of one of the downsides to this. But since they're small and compact, they have their place in my line of flashlights. Now we're going to get into their bigger stuff, their M18 and M12 series lights. So. Uh, they have their stick lights. These are designed also for automotive use. They work well in various other fields as well. So I like this M18 stick light. It's obviously best used, I find, usually mounted on the ground since the battery's at the bottom. Uh, the head's adjustable, so if I'm working under a vehicle, I can hit various different angles if need be. Um, it's only 300 lumens, but it's actually pretty bright. And because it doesn't use a lot of power, this thing will run for a long time on one of these M18 batteries, even a smaller one. If you put a really big battery on this, it would run for probably days. Like in, say, you had an emergency, like a power outage, and you have a whole bunch of M18 batteries laying around, you can run this thing for a long time on a battery. Same thing with the 12-volt series as well. So you have various hooks on these things. You can take the hooks out and hang these different ways, whether you want to hang them under a hood. It also has a hook on the back, so you can hang this thing up under a hood to shine down. If you're looking for something real basic, maybe you don't want a large under hood light, but you just want a basic light for a multitude of uses. Same thing with their M12 stick light. Basically, this is a smaller version of it. 220 lumens, but it actually works very well. M12 series, just like the M18. Quick, nice interchangeability. Also has an option for a rare earth magnet on the bottom of it. Battery gauge is on here. And then you also have the, on the top you have the hook that also comes off. You can bring this all the way to the back. Same thing, you can hang this up. I've seen actually people use this on electrical boxes to hang up for light. So real versatile, works in a bunch of different fields, but also works well when you need a light in a pinch in the garage. I actually use these today for some projects around the house. Uh, they also have their, various m18 rover lights these are also good they're a little bit big a little bit heavy but they're pretty bright this is like 1500 lumens on high so 
You can put the large batteries on this thing if you need to have a long amount of runtime. This is perfect for something mounted either, say, on top of a cabinet, underneath a vehicle. If you need a lot of light in a given area, it's perfect for that. Uh, it's real durable, again, color neutral. So sometimes if I'm working under a vehicle and I need a lot of light, I'll just throw that thing underneath it. Now, the last two are vehicle specific. Uh, I have their under hood and under body lights. These lights are awesome. Now, the under body light, I actually just got, they just came out with this thing. And because I have a lift in the garage now, I wanted to get this light. So essentially what this is, this is perfect for somebody with a lift, whether it's four post, two post lift, you can put this on the uh, runways, on the arms for shining up underneath of a vehicle you also larger vehicles with frame rails this would work very well this is their on their m12 12 volt series so you have what i think are rare earth magnets on the top because they have a really strong hold you have an arm here that is magnetic you will be able to put a wrench or some pretty heavy tools on here to keep them where you can see them and not end up kind of losing them putting them in random places and you have a nice bright adjustable light on the front i think this is 1200 lumens on high and obviously it has a high, medium, low for power savings. Now, I think this light is kind of power hungry because it's got a pretty big head on it. So I think it's rated at like five hours on high with a 4.0 battery. So if you're going to be using this for an extended period of time, you're going to want to have one of the larger, higher capacity batteries on it. So lots of adjustability with this thing for using this thing under car. And I will show this what it looks like set up under my lift. And finally, um, Another light that I think is awesome and I use every single time I'm working under a hood of the car is their under hood light. So this thing is awesome. You have it spring loaded on both sides so it's adjustable to virtually any size hood you would be putting it on. You have these nice rubber pads on here that are keeping you from scratching up as well as metal framing reinforcements on it. The light is removable from the mount itself. So if I want to say hang this large light underneath my lift, it just pops off the clamps here and you can do it. You also have a hook on the front. So if I wanted to hang it off something like my lift or something else, it uh, can very easily be done. So also M12 series, you have the uh, power gauge, you have different modes for the high, medium, low, as well as the power switch. So really bright. I think this is like 1300 lumens on high. So this tool I tend, I find is a little bit power hungry. I've been using it for a while now. Um, I like to use these extended batteries on this thing. You can run a smaller battery on it, but you're not going to get a tremendous amount of runtime. I don't know exactly what the, uh, the run times are, but on a smaller battery, probably only like an hour or two. If you're going to be working under a hood for a long duration, you definitely want to have at least a bunch of small batteries or a couple of these large ones. So let me go ahead and show some of these lights when they're set up and operational. All right, the Milwaukee under hood light, like I said, it has springs on both sides, so you can slide the light back and forth, put it exactly where it needs to go. And as you can tell, it very thoroughly lights up under the engine compartment. So uh, anytime I'm working under the hood where it's more than something like a basic oil change, I'm getting into spark plugs, serpentine belts, something where I'm going to be under the hood for a little while and I want to have sufficient lighting to see exactly what I'm doing, I always bring this thing along. Uh, like I said, you have the rubber clamps on it's going to keep it from scratching up uh, the vehicle and it works very well it's milwaukee true view so it doesn't distort the colors if you're getting into wiring harnesses and you need to see exact colors it doesn't make yellows look white or anything like that so uh, it works very well so i really like this light it wasn't cheap but it's well worth it very well built and i use it quite often and finally the most recent addition, the underbody light. Like I said, Milwaukee just came out with this. this is a pretty new tool. So the magnets are actually really strong on this thing. Uh, you do have to give this thing a, a pretty good tug to get this thing to come off. So two post, four post lifts are going to work very well. The arm's magnetic. And like I said, you can easily put your wrench on here so you don't end up putting it in some random place and then forgetting where you put it. So same thing with the under hood light. Single button turns it on. And you have some sufficient lighting under here. So high, medium, low. As you can tell, it makes quite a difference on camera. So if you're going to be working under a lift, it can get pretty dark under here, especially when you're trying to see up inside the vehicle. This is works very well. Lots of adjustability to move it around, both on the head and the arm itself. And if you have a lift and are looking for a nice, good quality light, definitely give this thing some serious consideration. So I hope you enjoyed the video.
Thanks for watching.